Why are covert narcissists so dangerous? I mean, most of them are not the type that are stalking you or criminal or doing things that are overtly what you would consider dangerous things. But why are they so dangerous to your psyche, your well-being, and your life? My name is Lise Colucci, and I am here to help you understand and heal from toxic people in your life. And sometimes those toxic people are extremely covert. So let's talk about what a covert narcissist is just for a second. So a covert narcissist is a person that has narcissistic tendencies, lack of empathy, lack of accountability in relationships, but they're not overtly grandiose, boastful, charming, over-the-top people who display obvious forms of narcissism. They can be humble, they can help people, they can be do-gooders in their life, but behind closed doors, they are equally manipulative and toxic in relationships. So for more on covert narcissism, I have an entire playlist. Have you dealt with one of these people? Have you been in a relationship or have you known one or is one of your family members a covert narcissist? Let me know in the comments what you've experienced and how it's affected you and why you feel it is dangerous in your life. I mean, the thing about covert narcissism is that when you're with them, you're completely duped. You are completely lied to and you don't even know it's happening until you're really far down the line in that relationship. Covert narcissism is hidden behind subtlety. The mask of subtlety can be worn for quite a long time. And when the mask slips, it can look like a bad mood. It can look like they're just having a hard day. It's just the thing is that mask will slip more and more and more and suddenly you find yourself at the bottom of their devaluing cycle. And the way you get there is this very subtle, easing, slippery little slope that they create through the way that they subtly devalue. Again, check out the videos on covert narcissism for the signs of it. Let's just keep going about why they are so dangerous. I mean, they have the guise of being decent people. They're often considered good people in society. I mean, a communal covert narcissist that goes out there and joins groups and is a part of an organization or something where they are doing good things in the world, right? But when they're in relationship, when they have the closeness and the intimacy of a relationship or if they're your parent or your sibling, then the mask is off and they no longer are that do-gooder, but they can throw their do-gooding in your face. And so it looks like you're being a really awful person for calling them anything other than perfect. Because of all of that, it makes it really, really, really hard to spot until you get into conflict with them several times in a row, until you have repeated patterns of situations where they aren't getting their way, they are having a hard time relating, they need to be vulnerable. It's often once you're fully entangled with them that you realize the narcissism is present. So they're not all do-gooder types, okay? But they are all subtle with the narcissism, okay? And so because of that, you are seeing who they are because you're with them in a deeper relationship where there is interpersonal relatings that go on. The presentation they give to the outside world is a completely different person. And because of that difference, you become isolated. The danger is no one believes you. No one would believe the truth of what's going on. No one sees it. There are no witnesses. And that isolation can be a very dangerous place because, well, you're alone, right? But also because the smear campaign that can come after is entirely believable to everyone you know. These are the people that you least expect to be malicious, and yet they are. The danger in that is you trust them. You trust them. You feel connection with them because they present as if they're connecting back, as if they're trustworthy. You say, well, they do all these wonderful things or they're so nice to everybody else. It must be me. So the danger there is in your self-esteem dropping. You're believing the toxic things the person is telling you about yourself that then makes you have all kinds of issues in your own life around your self-esteem, your self-worth, whether or not you are the problem in the relationship. It's all this making sense and sounding familiar. You guys hit the thumbs up if you have experienced any of this in your life. 
The thing is, if you are in question, if someone in your life is toxic and you see that they seem fine everywhere else, but they cannot handle anything within the relationship, and yet you've tried to do everything you can to help yourself be a better person, help yourself and the relationship through growth and change. And you know what I mean? You're doing all the self-help stuff. You're looking into it. You're asking the questions. Why is this happening? How can I make it better? You you find yourself pouring in, into the relationship and accommodating everything in the relationship. You're in the danger zone with this toxic person because see, they aren't gonna change. They are not gonna accommodate. They are not going to do anything other than further manipulation. And so if you're having this going on and you're questioning it and you're here watching this video and then you go back and watch the other videos on covert narcissism, know that this is real. This is a real thing. And if you need someone to talk to, check out the info in every description of every video about coaching, group coaching, or peer support. You know, when you're dealing with a covert narcissist, you're dealing with a very approachable, easy to talk to, innocent looking, often helpful, seemingly benign, harmless, toxic human being. The fact that they are believed to be all those wonderful things to manipulate situations and people in their lives and who is seeking supply at the expense of everybody else. There are tons of videos on this channel on covert narcissism. Again, go check them out. I'll see you next time. Take care.